Welcome to Docker Demo 2. In this video, I'm going to explain creating a small Node.js application, which is the flavor of Restify module, and which is just exposing two or three uh, gate calls. Once that is done, I'm going to pull that send voice image from the Docker public repository. And the third step is create a Node.js application. I'm going to put into that attached with the sent voice and build a custom image. Once that is done, I'm going to run that created image as a, as a multiple containers. Let's see in action. I'm going to open that terminal. the forms I am going to join as a pseudo user now I am a root user first I am going to explain what kind of a node.js application I am going to expose to that kubernetes so let's see so I am going to open that sublime text and this is the um, application I am talking about it is a um, just uh, it's a flavor of Restify uh, module. So Restify is an excellent module and also a popular module from the Node community, which is helping us to create the cleaner REST APIs. So this line actually exposing uh, creating the server in the name of product API server. And so this is our routes. The first route is telling that if I go from the root level, I'm going to tell that product service successfully running. And if I call the slash product, so I'm going to send that um, JSON products, which is there uh, in the list. So you can see that the products is, is available in as a JSON. So there are two products which is available in the list. Then list by also supporting that uh, parameterized uh, REST calls which is if you forward this I uh, forward the ID so I'm going to return that the particular product from the JSON result set the last line which is I'm going to listen into the port number 8000 and whenever the server is started I'm going to tell that and I'm, I'm just creating a log which is telling that the product server started on port 8000 so and then another file uh, so this is a very important file that is called package.json and if you know the node.js it can be easily uh, explainable so i'm just to need one dependency is called restify because it's needed 2.8.3 version which is needed to run the application so i already explained index.js uh, and package.js so now i'm um, going to the ubuntu terminal now i'm going to um, run the package before that I'm going to switch this particular repository so SRC so this is a folder so I have index.js and plus uh, package.json so now that so I need the dependency to be installed so uh, for that I need to raise one command called npm install so what you'll do this command will go through the package.json file and take the particular dependency and install in the system so I'm clicking npm install so it's already identified so I I need to install that restify so it is installing it okay so then so I'm going to run that node.js index js file see if you so now we are able to run that node server successfully so I'm creating another Ubuntu terminal I'm going to call that particular Rest calls. So I'm using call for that localhost 8000. So as I said, it is in the root level, so it is telling product services successfully running. So now I'm going to run it curl here first curl localhost 8000 slash products so I am able to face that two products which is available in my JSON okay 
now I am going to fetch this parameterized product slash 2 so I am going to get the particular product which is having the ID of 2 okay now uh, we are able to run that um, we are able to create the node.js application and able to run it perfectly so now I am exiting from the terminal even I am exiting from this okay so now we are able to fetch that um, uh, we are able to run that node.js the second step which I am going to explain how to pull that sent for OS because which is I needed for as a base image so sent for OS actually is excellent very bare minimal requirement OS which is very suitable for that container so it is already already there in the docker repository so I am going to pull that docker sorry send OS image to my local system let's see so for that I am going to issue docker pull send OS now it is going to talk with that uh, system and we're going to pull that image since my system already have the same OS image and it is already tell it is telling that it is already exist so that's what and also it confirms that image is up to date for sent OS so I don't require to worry about it but if anybody changes from the same OS stream so definitely I will get the updates and whenever I am issuing this uh, command so it is going to pull the latest uh, sent OS images and going to update my local system okay so my so let's see uh, my sent OS is available over here okay so yes the sent OS available and all I pulled that images before five days so that is available good so now I have node.js application and as well as um, send OS image now I need to build my own image which is a combination of my node.js application as well as send OS as a base image so how I am going to do it so for that I need one important file whenever you want to build the dockers so you need a one file called docker file so where is the docker file let's see go to the docker so in the same folder I have put the file called docker file so it needs uh, some uh, important key it's following some important schema because so it this schema it will understood by the docker system so the first line which is indicating that so I'm using docker version point, uh, 0 0.3.4 and the second the third line which is telling that I need the same OS as a base image so this from statement which is going to tell that hey I need to run the docker container which is the which is the base of send OS that's what this line is doing it then this fifth line is going to tell that fifth and sixth line what is that it's enabled EPEL for node.js that is stating that EPL is nothing but extra package for enterprise Linux so this line is telling that so why it is like because to run that node.js in my send OS so I need to pull that latest node.js package into my system that's what this line is doing it so then and this line is doing it so it is going to do that yum install npm so it is going to set up the environment variable for that node.js applications which which is inside uh, the send voice this one the next statement which is telling that bundle up resources the app resources which I am stating about the two files index.js and package.js package.json which is required to run my node.js application that's what i am issuing this command called a copy this old source folder into my uh, into the particular folder it's called src so and then i am changing that my uh, directory into the src in the same voice image and then i am going to issue the command called npm install so npm install will find the package database and which is newly copied from the local repository to send voice repository and then issuing the command and is going to install that all the uh, dependencies for in my case only rest file is the model then this line which is I am I want to see anyway I am running that uh, my application in 8000 port so I want to expose the same port to the outside of the world that's what this line is doing it so it is going to expose 8000 port into the external world then excuse me then uh, this folder uh, the second the next cmd command which is stating that 
um, it's a uh, running uh, I need to uh, run that index JS file to run that to start the server node.js server so that's what this file all about talking about so that uh, this if you want to know extra information about the schema you can go and uh, go and explore uh, into that docker site they have the nice um, document regarding this how to create the docker file and uh, how to build it and all okay so next um, um, I'm going to do that so using this docker file I'm going to so I'm going to build the new images in in my favorite name so let's see I'm switching to that uh, open the terminal so I already in the src folder so I'm going to issue the command called docker build iPhone T so iPhone T is nothing but I need to tag in my favorite name okay so I am just I am telling that n babu sundaram that's my uh, username and then I'm go I'm going to issue um, that cube um, sorry demo cube I found no JS so so I can put it this name then so I'm entering it so there is an issue okay so you should be very careful because it will not understand the even though your command is correct so you should so you should give the space and give a dot okay so everyone will miss this statement because see you have to have that dot at the end so I have to enter that so it is created it's talked with the docker file and it is download all the things and it's made already uh, uh, send voice and then all the things see you can see running and executing the command and downloading all the statements everything is ready so now successfully built the the build number is this one those are the car now the image is ready so let's see the image docker okay. so I'll clear it clear docker images where is that oh yes my image ID which is created just now it's a 30 seconds ago I have created that nice image which is the combination of my node.js application as well as that uh, uh, send voice so now my container now image is ready now I need to run my this image as a container in my system then I need to I can access uh, that uh, application in my outside world let's see how to do that so now demo iPhone cube iPhone node.js is it so now I am going to put this image as a container now what is the command for this docker iPhone and then run then what port do you need to do that so in port and output port 8000 and iphone d d is for detached mode okay detached mode is this little bit is isolated space so you can explore this one iphone d then n babu sundaram demo iphone q iphone node.js so so it is given that the very big container name as output yeah so i am able to build run the container let's see now this runner container is running or not docker ps yeah so my container is running in a great mode So you you are able to see that the container name or uh, container ID is over here, and then this is the image uh, image name, and the command whenever it is started the container it needs to execute index.js. I think it already done that. So now I am going to check it whether it is running or not. So now I am going to check it. HTTP curl HTTP localhost. 8000 products sorry it's a product okay so now I'm able to face that the information so as I expected let's see all the things it's running HTTP localhost 8000 slash product slash 2 yeah I'm able to pull all the information so my container is running excellently in the sports okay 
so this is the um, excellent thing so you can as many content as you wanted same thing if using the same image you can run in any ports but it but your application also should expect that dynamic port so for example like so now i am going to run the same thing docker run um so docker run uh, run iphone 3 iphone it's running internally 8000 so it but it has to run 8000 and and what do you want to do and iphone t tag name sorry iphone d it's a detached mode sorry and so give the same image name demo iphone cube iphone is it not js so i cannot allocate the same internal port okay fine 7000 7000 that's fine so now two containers running i can without any it's a zero effort i am able to create the containers as much i want so i can do how many containers i want i can kill the containers even i can stop on containers which is just now i created so docker stop yes so only one container is running I can even make it up with other containers. All the things you can do, play with that. So um, that's it. So I explain how to build that new images and how to build, how to how to attach any any application, how to execute that execute a particular command. All the things I have explained, how to copy and everything is explained. So that's it. This is the end of this video. So now we are ready to push the newly created image to the real Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster. Then how we can play an enjoy, enjoyable mode in many aspects. So this is very it's just start. I'm going to explain all the things in later videos. Thank you.